Pigtail pilau is a delicacy in Trinidad, and it's not something I cook regularly. It requires a special trip to Liberty Avenue, Queens, and luckily, my husband decided to make the trip for me. Today, I have one hour to prepare this pigtail because they have to leave the house, and you are very fortunate that my daughter decided to help film, or else this would have been another Cooking with Ria recipe lost in history. Today I'm going to use a can of dried pigeon peas, garlic, I have an old piece of pumpkin that I need to use. It's beginning to melt as you can see. Uh, two carrots, some scallions that I picked during the week from the garden, hot pepper, I feel like having it really spicy today, green seasoning, salt, brown sugar, and some old thyme from the freezer. Here I have about three pounds of pigtails. These are not salted, that I cooked last night on very low for about two hours. They should be very tender. I hope they are. Well, they are not full of the bone tender, but they're pretty good. Edible. We'll continue to cook in the pilau. So it should be the right texture when we're eating it. If pigtails freak you out, use your favorite cut of chicken. Chicken legs, thighs, or a whole chicken cut up. Just make sure it's clean. There's no... Nothing on them. Give them a rinse, a good rinse. Put the flame on, uh, starting at six to get the pot heated. I've added two tablespoons of oil, and I'll add one, two, three, four, about five tablespoons of brown sugar. We'll see how the color turns out. Once the color begins to darken, like caramel, then we'll add the meat. And remember, I always suggest a deeper pot when you're stewing. I'm going to reduce the heat to low. And it's beginning, it's very, it's been beginning to smell very strong. The color is darkening. It has expanded. And all these are good signs that your uh, sugar is ready and it's smoking. Don't get scared. It's very intimidating, but you just have to move quickly and be very aware of what's happening. Okay, now I'm going to gently add. Thank you. 
It's a lovely color and that's what we're aiming for. Give it a nice sear. Beautiful. That's a perfect stew. Perfect stew color. Now I'm going to cover it and let it cook. And um, in the meantime, I'm going to get the other ingredients ready. You can cut this as large or as small as you like. Fine dice or large dice. Okay, now I'll top. Is it in the middle? It's a little messy today because we're in a rush. Lainey has to go to a party. And I'm going to chop up these peppers. This is a very quick cook today. Okay, that's good. I need to do the pumpkin too. I'm going to add just a little bit of water just to steam it a little more, make it a little more tender, and then I'll add all the seasonings. I've washed the pumpkin and I have cleaned out the melting um, part from the inside, and then I'll cut it. I'll peel it and we'll cut it. When you cut it thin, narrow, it's very easy to peel. Okay. And you could probably cut this here. Again, it's up to you whether you want a fine dice or whether you want chunks. It will melt. And that's the prep.
If this was very tender, you would not have had to add any more liquid. I'm just going to raise the heat to high to uh, evaporate this water. We've also chopped up one medium onion. Simple ingredients today. We did not hit the record button uh, when we were adding the ingredients, but we added four tablespoons of green seasoning, two tablespoons of garlic, half of the chopped scallions, and thyme. This is not salted pigtails. I'm going to add two teaspoons of salt to brighten up the flavors. We're almost ready to add the rice. Now I'm going to add the rice and the peas. Three and a half cups of rice. Give it a stir. I'm also going to add the chopped carrots, two carrots, the pumpkin, the medium onion, and the chopped scallions for another level of flavor. I'll also add two more tablespoons of green seasoning. Mix all the rice, make sure everything is evenly colored with the caramelized sugar or with the browning we should call it. I'm going to give it a taste like this and as I always say it should be a little salty at that point. So I'm going to add one more teaspoon of salt. And one teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. I'm going to cook it for five minutes and then we'll add the liquid. You really need to stir it here a lot. To combine all the flavors, make sure that the salt is evenly distributed. And you're also stirring because you don't want it to stick at the bottom. Oops. I'm going to get the hot water or the coconut milk ready. I did not decide whether I was adding coconut milk yet. Reducing the heat to low while I decide. So I found a half block of coconut in the refrigerator. I'm going to add some hot water to this to uh, dissolve it or um, liquefy, liquefy this coconut. I'm going to add the hot water. Give it a stir.
Now I'm going to add the coconut milk. And most of it has melted. This will continue to melt with the remaining hot water I'm going to add. Okay. I'm going to give it a good stir. Just briefly to make sure everything is thoroughly combined. And all the bits from the bottom as well. That's all the flavor at the bottom there. You have to stir it. Also, all those flavors are not going to get um, evenly distributed. You're trying to get the bits at the bottom as well. Everything from the side. Oops. I think it could use just a little more. All depends on whether you like it grainy. Give it a taste. Good. I think it needs a little dash of salt. I'm adding a half teaspoon more salt. This is a lot of rice. Maybe a little more. This is three and a half cups of rice. One more combined. Okay, that's it. Even it down. So that the cover will close properly. A little more water for good measure. And we'll cover it. And cover. It's almost 20 minutes. Mm. It's almost 20 minutes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Really good. I'm going to put the cover on for 10 minutes more and it's done. Gonna take the heat off. We have a lot of greens. We have Swiss chard. We have collard greens. We have mustard greens. This is romaine. And this is mustard greens that's growing wild in my garden. So I'm gonna send all these for my aunt. The tomatoes are growing wild. I think there's a sunflower coming up there. We need to clean up the garden. The pumpkin is looking very healthy. And the corn is coming up. tomatoes you get. <laughs> what is that? The bee? From the 
bottom. You're destroying my tree. 